and welcome to another Tasha Tuesday. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Over the past few weeks, I have been talking with my friend Laura from Laura the Olive and we've decided that we really wanted to do a collab together. Now, I know what you're thinking, oh, why don't you just meet up and do a collab that way? Well, here's the thing. I live in Australia and she lives all the way in Italy. So we took to brainstorming and came up with the right idea of sending each other small clips every now and again and getting a video that way. So what's today's video about, Tasha? Excellent question you have. Today I'm going to be teaching Laura all about Australian slang. Over the past few weeks I've been sending her short clips of Australian slang that I think are pretty common in today's Australian society. And she sent them back to me with her answers. So without further ado, let's begin. First I'd like to introduce my new YouTuber buddy and new friend of mine, Laura, Laura the Olive. Why don't you say hi and say a little bit about yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Laura and I run the channel Laura the Olive and this is my cat, Kitty. Say hi Kitty. Say hi to YouTube. Hi. I'll give you two Australian slang words to guess. The first is Maccas and the second is Uni. Okay, so the first word, Maccas, Maccas, I have no idea how to write it nor pronounce it. I don't know, something to do with like partying or something, having fun maybe? That's, that's what I'm guessing. And I don't know how to pronounce it, so there goes that. And then the second word is uni, and I'm guessing that's short for university. And I hope that's what that is, because I also use the word uni. Those were really, really great guesses. And the first word, Mac is, you actually spell it M-A-C-C-A-S, and it is short for McDonald's. So we would say, let's go on a Macca's run when we want that type of food. And the second, uni, you are absolutely correct. Uni is definitely short for university and it is really cool to hear that you use it as well. I would never have guessed that Macas. Yeah, we also, I'm, I mean in English, I use uni a lot, so, because it's just easier than saying university. So the next two words for you I have are Dunny, spelled D-U-N-N-I-E, and Swag, spelled S-W-A-G. So good luck with those. Okay, Dunny. Oh my gosh. Um, I feel like that's what you refer to a friend. Oh, this is my Dunny. Like this is my my buddy, Dunny. Oh, that rhymed. Yeah, that's all I have. It's like a way to refer to your friend. And then swag. I mean, unless it has a different meaning in Australia, I'm guessing that's like you're really cool. You got like you're really hip and whatnot. So that's what I'm guessing swag means. Like really cool. Actually, really good guesses. Uh, dunny actually means toilet here in Australia. You know, oh, I'm just gonna go use the dunny and stuff. Traditionally, swag in Australia means sleeping bag. So if you're going camping, you always have to bring your swag along to sleep in. I've never guessed that dunny means toilet, but I feel like it's a word that I hear a lot for some weird reason. Then for swag, that's a really cool way to describe a sleeping bag. I'm gonna go sleep in my swag. Um, maybe that's not how you say it. So, the next two words I have for you are Durry, which is D-U-R-R-Y, and Piss or Grog. So, Piss, P-I-S-S, or Grog, G-R-O-G. Piss and Grog mean the same thing. Dairy. It sounds like dairy, so it makes me think of milk, but I'm pretty sure that's not what that is. Maybe it's like some type of candy. Or kind of like a sweet food, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna go with like a sweet, a type of food. Instead for piss or grog. It sounds like an evil Disney character. I don't know, but it reminds me of like beer for some reason. Like piss is like yellow. Uh, well, pee is like yellow. And maybe it's like, it kind of looks like beer. So maybe that's what grog means. Yeah, I'm gonna go with... Pissing grog or beer. Really good guesses as well. Dairy does sound like dairy, however, it actually means cigarettes. So people will say, oh, I'm going out for a dairy, meaning I'm going out for a smoke. And the second word, uh, piss or and grog, you're actually very correct. It does mean beer. It's kind of a weird thing that we have for it, but yes. I have one more word for you, and that word is arvo. So good luck with that. I'm an arvo. Maybe you could say someone can be like, hey, Look at that guy, he's such an Arvo. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just go with that. It's like some a way of referring to someone. I don't know, maybe it's like he's cool or something. Yeah, that guy's an Arvo, so he's cool, I guess. 
That was a really good guess. Arvo is actually afternoon. So, oh, I'm going out this Arvo or, oh, I'll see you the, this Arvo. Thank you so much, Laura, for being on my channel. It means so much to me that we got to do this and that we've made a friend. And it's just really amazing. So, thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for, for doing this with me and, like, asking to do a collab because this is it's such a cool opportunity that we can get to do something like this even though you live in Australia and I live here in Italy and I like that out of this we, we were able to like become friends and form like a, a really cool friendship um, over something we both enjoy doing and I think that's really nice so thank you so much for having me on your channel I will leave all of Laura's links in the description below please go check out our channel she's absolutely amazing definitely recommend her channel to give it a watch so the silver line to this is that I made an amazing new friend out of this if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if you're new here don't forget to click that subscribe button I post videos every Tuesday I hope you have a great day bye